Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a combined Divine Mass and Divine Feminine read for the Twin Flames. Um, I'm going to show you a picture of the spread so you can look at it, okay? So I don't always put it up. It's usually on the post, but... Okay, so you have a snapshot. Of all the cards, okay? And I'll pull some oracle cards during this read as well, because I posted some other reads for today. But this is specifically for this, this read. Today is August 25th, 2018. It is the 25 of the Knight of Wands, and the day adds up to the 44, which is the Four of Cups. It's about grounding and integrating that boredom feeling, maybe feeling dissatisfied with what you have. Um, but realizing that the full moon is coming tomorrow and then Mars direct on Monday. So there's going to be a big change in energy. You may be feeling the discomfort of that. Realize it's not you. It's the energies coming up. So don't feed into that. And then, of course, the Knight of Wands is very passionate energy getting a move on, okay? So the the read I did for, for both the Divine Mass and Divine Feminine. So take it as it applies to you. Um, for the characters, if it's a feminine energy, it's for feminine energy. If it's a masculine, you know, if it's a king, it's for a masculine energy. Um, I'm not identifying them by their sign. It's, it has to do with their qualities of the person. So just if it's a queen of pentacles, it doesn't mean it's an earth sign. It means it's someone who's grounded and maybe home, doing home types of things, or maybe, you know, just well-rounded and they're very stable. So that kind of thing. I'm, uh, I will tell you the major arcana, but I'm not applying the signs of the major arcana to the situation because there's too many of you out there. I mean, it just it gets confusing for people because, for example, if you have the star card, that's considered Aquarius energy. But the Aquarians aren't the only ones who who receive this type of energy. Okay, it's just Aquarian energy of dreams coming true and healing energy. Okay, so it applies to everyone. So. Here we go. So for this is both of you. So whatever situation I bring up, you apply it to your situation. If it doesn't resonate, it's not for you. Okay. So the major account are the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Tower, and the Strength cards. The um, the suits were a uh, one pentacle, two swords, two cups, two wands. So very well distributed. The characters, the court cards, were the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Okay, so it's like kind of a mother and two kids type of energy, but doesn't have to be. Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. The numbers that came up were 44, which was perfect because today is the energy of 44. And 44 is the number of Atlas, the weight of the world upon your shoulder. It's also the number of the social worker, 44. And it is an eight of inner strength, outer strength, but the four is just as it is. You see it as a four, and it is a four. It's very st structured and stable, not very exciting, but very dependable. Okay? It's boredom. <laughs> All right, so it starts out with happy family. So it appears, and then disappears. Poof! All that energy up in the clouds, dropping a ton of bricks to start a new life and gain control. After jealousy issues spread by word of mouth, there's a Queen of Pentacles out, but sad, kicking around energy and ideas. Um, literally, someone could be playing kickball as well. And also, pie was coming up. So someone's making a pie, eating a pie, but I was also getting the zero with the line through it as pie. It's like God showing us, you know, zero is source energy. And when the line's through it, it's like the twins, okay? It's the integration of the alignment of the twins. But also, it's being shown the inner alignment of yourself, your masculine and feminine, is represented by pie. So it's showing me this again, the division of God, of the two twins coming together to make themselves whole again. Even though they're, you're each whole, it's just representing that, um, that division as the twins, okay? So I was also getting a pogo stick, Cirque du Soleil, so some of the, you might be going to see Cirque du Soleil, and fairs, doing tricks in the air and bouncing around. Um, I was getting a, a Queen of Cups reversed down in the dumps but I was also getting dumpster diving, digging up trash to spread, so someone might be upset and pissed, so they're trying to get vengeance on someone. Um, so this is someone who could possibly just be crying a lot, drinking, or even I was getting kids leaving crap around the house in disarray. 
Um, twins out in the open, looking back at the past. Jealous third party, offering a little friendly something, something healthy, which hurts someone's feelings after having waited so long for news. So this could be the divine feminine or the um, karmic, depending on the situation. But the queen of cups is reversed. Okay, that's not a nice energy. Could just be someone really upset and crying. It also can be very manipulative and wanting to get back. I was also getting it in another way. I was getting reconciliation comes up, so it could be reconciliation with a karmic or a twin. Also looking back at the past, coming out about the past with sudden jealousy issues and practical offer made to settle the score. So I was getting competition between the divine masculine and his karmic. And also the lovers comes up and healing as well. So the lovers healing. So there's a lot of energy here of of the lovers healing and jealousy, okay, and someone getting revenge. So recently I was getting the emperor being strong but conflicted in his head after having been made a fool and depressed, ha not having faith in his dreams. The truth, the truth is the foundation of this read, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, the crown opening when you're out in nature. Okay, so it's seeing for the divine masculine when he's out hiking and stuff, that's when his crown is able to open up more. All cards and crosses laid on the table. So someone might have a lot of crosses out in the house. Injustice of divorce, but it could also be like uh, uh, churches and courthouses, somewhere where there may be crosses. You know, crossing your heart. All cards and crosses laid on the table. Injustice of a divorce. The King of Swords, there may be a lawyer involved, or testimony, actually. I was getting really specific court information of actually someone taking the stand, and that Queen of Wands actually taking, a st taking the stand. I was getting like the whole truth and nothing but the truth. If the Queen of Cups reverses on the stand, she's going for a pity plea, sobbing about no structure for kids, and outing a Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So centrally, I was getting a hierophant holds the power to make peace. So it was like a judge or someone in a religious position or a guide or just the powers that be. Wants them to take a break from emotions and their thoughts to come back and make a decision for peace. Challenged by a sudden confession to a dysfunctional family about what their true happiness is. The rainbow bridge. Could also be someone suddenly quitting a family business or all the things their family expects them to do for them and they just quit it. Uh, religious factors definitely coming up. Doesn't have to be about religion, could just be cultural differences, could be age difference, anything like that. Could be, you know, Democrat, Republican, whatever the difference is. Um, also codependency comes up to release any addictions or codependencies and to keep an open mind about who your twin is, you know. Do you really know who they are and keep an open mind in the way they view things. So now, in the now moment today, the Queen of Pentacles is truthful and calm, seeing things from other perspectives, but still offering love and friendship, despite maybe seeing their differences. Um, brain wars are definitely com coming up for both parties, the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, still in their head about stuff, maybe some new stuff coming up about stuff they didn't think of before. But brain wars is a major theme at this full moon. So don't feed into your brain wars. Soon the Knight of Cups gets clear on what, what activities or things make them happy and not to spread themselves too thin. Seeing themselves as a leader, successful, good news, on a journey or coming home from a journey and getting attention after choosing a path to end pain and betrayal also could be lower back and sacral pain without judging but also deliberating, so not rushing into anything. So around you is a child, a friend or a lover, with true innocent intentions of love. After a bad turn, to learn patience, so that whoever's around you, who loves you, may have just gone through something difficult in order for them to learn patience. Clear blocks of union, home, bridging gaps, marriage, after a bad experience ending, and getting closure with the vengeful Queen of Wands reversed. So both on both sides, you need to clear what you've gone through in your divorce or your breakup or your situation, whatever it may be, and don't insinuate that same situation upon your twin. Just because it happened to you in this situation doesn't mean that's what your twin's going to do to you. So you need to get past those blocks of expectations, okay? 
So not poo-poo marriage because you had a bad marriage. Okay, don't poo-poo union or home or marriage or just being able to bridge gaps. If you weren't able to bridge gaps with somebody else, that doesn't mean you can't bridge gaps with your twin. All right? And someone might have gone through a lot of abuse with their karmic. So somebody may still be dealing with vengeful uh, karmics. Music and intuition were coming up as major um, important players for the divine feminine and divine masculine. It's very important to, to listen to music and connect to use your intuition. Follow your gut. Solution is rest and meditation for all. After t detaching from exes. To your right. Connect with passion. Work out and speak your harsh truth. Even if it might hurt somebody else's feeling, you must come into your truth. On the left, being silenced and controlled after walking away from a queen of a walking away from a king of pentacles who intimidates, flirts, or chases girls, or may be perceived that way. Then correcting wrongdoing and connection. So some are being called to correct their wrongdoings or their lies in a connection in order to end the pain and betrayal. Think outside the box with your twin and your children. Um, and there's a losing battle at work. Okay. So that's the information for the read for both today. And I'm going to pull these, the oracle cards too. So first is the Ascension deck. Okay, so this is for the organic Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine Twin Flames. Hooray, what is the advice for the Twin Flames? What is the advice for the organic Divine Masculine Divine Feminine Twin Flames? What is the advice? <sighs> what is the advice? Okay. Pallas Athena, and the bottom of the deck is number 112 Chakras. The affirmation for the 12 chakras, and again, it's number one, which is the magician. The affirmation is, I awaken my 12 fifth dimensional chakras. Okay? Because it's not just based on the seven major ones anymore. Now it's based on 12 major chakras. And you can look them up. They're in there. So, Pallas Athena comes out. It's number 48, which is that eight of cups of walking away, going within. It can be leaving a situation. It could be running away from a situation. But it could also be working on yourself. You know, leaving a lot of, a lot of emotions behind that you spend a lot of time with. So 48 is a three. It's about finding your joy, um, expressing yourself the way you want to, and coming together. And it reads, Pallas Athena is known as the goddess of truth and wisdom. And truth and wisdom were coming up big time today with all the court stuff, okay? She is Lord of Karma for the fourth ray. Four is stability. It's been coming up a lot today as well. And holds the sword of truth to show humanity the way. Okay, so today is 44 and 44 came up in the read. Although she wields her sword for the highest ideals and divine truth, she prefers to use wisdom to settle disputes. So we're talking about in court, you know, the judge uses wisdom. He tries to be um, tries to be objective about the situation and get people to resolve things in a peaceful way before he has to use his gavel, right? <laughs> so your, gu your guidance is to follow that example. See the higher perspective in all areas of conflict. Draw on your abundance of wisdom and tact to communicate with everyone concerned and use the sword of truth to point out the divine way forward. The affirmation is, I use the sword of truth to lead the way. Okay? It doesn't matter if someone gets their feelings hurt. As long as you're doing it with as much kindness and tact as you can, it's not your responsibility to resolve their wounds. It's your responsibility to resolve your wounds. All right, so for the uh, past life deck, for the organic, divine masculine, divine feminine, twin flame. Organic, divine masculine, divine feminine, twin flames. What is the advice? What is the advice? What is the advice? Okay, we have high priest or priestess and galactic is at the bottom. Okay, so you might want to connect tonight during these full moons. You might want to get together in a group meditation. There's also like a kite. It's really a diamond, but I'm getting a kite energy because kite's been coming up, and I know that the full moon is in a kite um, um, angle. 
And I had brought up Kite just randomly um, in my read yesterday, the day before, I guess two days before. So that's important. The high priest or priestess is coming up. Okay, so a reminder to break all vows. Okay, cut all cords with your past. You cannot break your or cut your cord with your twin. It's 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 permanent. You guys are attached. You're of the same spirit. You cannot detach yourself from your twin, but you can cut cords to all of those who are no longer for your highest good. Okay, and if you do cut cords accidentally. They're very easily replaced if it's someone you want to connect with. You can always come back to someone that you'd like to connect with, okay? But just you don't want other people's cords feeding off of you if they have ill intent. But just you want to also break vows of the past where you had took a vow of chastity or cel celibacy or whatever it may be. You know, release yourself from all of those prior vows. You don't need to be in silence any longer. You don't need to be celibate any longer. You just need to be your truth, okay? And here again, it's giving it up to God, which was the energy from the reads today. And then in Journey of Love, all right, for the organic, divine masculine, divine feminine, twin flames, what is the advice? What is the advice? What is the advice? Organic, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flames. What is the advice? <sighs> Take a deep breath, guys. And don't forget to breathe. So when you get stressed, it constricts your lungs. Don't forget to breathe. That's part of the connection process. That's why jogging is good, because it just it makes you meditative, because it opens up your lungs. All right, so... for the organic divine masculine divine feminine twin flames what is the advice 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 for the organic divine masculine divine feminine twin flames what is the advice okay intimacy is at the bottom of the deck number 35 which is another eight Okay, 35 is a very business-oriented eight. And um, it's interesting that a number that's so outwardly business-oriented is described as intimacy. And eight is, um, of course, of strength, of inner and outer strength. It's of manifestation. Um, it is the infinity. But this 35 is about the five of excitement energy the expansion energy, change energy on the inside. So someone who's very free on the inside, um, but being seen as more social on the outside. And maybe that's the key to intimacy is having an open door policy, you know, communicating everything. So the card that comes out is the bride offers herself. It's number 43. And that's a seven, which of course is very spiritual. It's the quiet before the storm. And 43 is the three of cups. The three of the joy on the inside and looking very responsible and dependable on the outside, very structured. So three has the joy and the stability, or 43. 43. The bride offers herself. And it says, there is a sacred offering taking place, an offering of the divine feminine. She is offering herself to the mastery unfolding. This may manifest in a physical way in that a woman of great feminine wisdom is offering herself to you in friendship, love, spiritual companionship, or service in some way. This may manifest in a spiritual gift from the divine mother in a form of a life circumstance or situation, whether it's immediately recognized as a gift or not. To accept this offering as a bridegroom accepting his bride with love, reverence, and respect, will bring good fortune. This oracle offers you a message. Accept what is being offered now, whether through challenge or an easing of the way forward. There is a gift of grace from the divine feminine reaching for you now. Allow her in and be blessed. This oracle also heralds a time of importance in relationship. 
You have been revealing yourself and not being afraid of who and what you are, sharing yourself and willingness to connect. Your vulnerability and beauty is acknowledged and will attract the response you need at the perfect time and in the perfect way. Every bride shall have her bridegroom. What a nice message. And the poem reads, How careful we must be close, how fragile we must feel, how sad not to be when someone is real. To say, approach with caution and spirits connecting, when we already know that inside there's a likeliness or a likeness, inside there's a likeness, and experience goes slow. So it's saying don't rush, but allow, okay? And it's interesting because the very next page then is 44, which is today's energy and came up in the read earlier. So it's very nice. It's saying, uh, you know, be compassionate. Don't shut people out just because they're not exactly what you think or want them to be. Give them a chance, okay? You don't have to rush into anything. And if someone's forcing you to make a rushed decision, don't make the decision if you're not ready. We're still in a lot of retrogrades. It's working with you to not make that decision right now. But to allow someone in, give them a chance, at least talk, you know? Don't be defensive. Don't try to get all the information out at once. Just allow and just be, okay? So make sure you drink your water, take your walk. Uh, make sure you meditate especially with this full moon energy don't forget okay it's a, it's, it's a good full moon energy on the one hand but it's also Mars direct on Monday so it's you know a lot of a lot of movement forward yet still being pulled back in certain ways so take your time okay rise and be loved guys take it easy <laughs>